So it goes. All right. Let's go, girl. Yep. Yeah.
It's okay, girl.
Come on, girl. God damn drunk horse. Shouldn't you pay no attention? Uh, oh. Now stuff's so okay. over. Damn it. You there? Yeah. Would you watch my cargo here while I go find someone to deal with this? Sorry, take care of your own mess. World full of nice people, and I meet all the assholes. Boss gonna be sore about this tomorrow. <laughs> It's me! Good to see you back in one piece. Easy, easy! Good work, girl.
nice place you brought us to, my brother. Yes. Lovely, isn't it? Uh, makes me miss freezing to death in the mountains. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Morgan, bring me some materials, and I'll be glad to make something nice for you. Just remember, my items are one of a kind, Mr. Morgan. So everyone keeps telling me. You'll need to bring me the right materials first, Mr. Morgan. Keep my eye out for some good material. Bring me something soon if you can, Arthur. Yeah, I hear you. Many thanks. Can't wait to taste this. Just in time, Mr. Morgan. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Take it easy with that stuff. Arthur, don't forget, I'm more than happy to craft you something if you bring me the right materials. This is taking it easy. I'm going to think about it. Can someone bowl up some manure? Ugh.
My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur, I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing, and I see now that I am not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in San Denis. Oh, Arthur... I know it is wrong to ask you, but I have nobody else, and for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am ashamed to do so, yours, Mary. You hit your head? What kind of get-up is that you're wearing? How's it all going? Man, yeah, good. You awake? Good for you. Well, what's going on? Ah, it's nothing. Quit with the ruckus! I'm tired. Jose? Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch van der Linde's finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch! <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There can be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca, I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. This way, please, gentlemen. Senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. Ah, that's wonderful, wonderful. Uh, come, come, this way. Uh, with a beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Brante is a very good friends with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli. As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know, uh, Mr. Brante, he has uh, that thing, you know, uh, respect. Jose, Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Brante. <laughs> come, come. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. Ah, the 
angry cowboys, you arrived. And you've washed for the prima volta questo mese, senza dubbio. Oh, this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. So, this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley, a, a Confederate major in the war. I mean, hero, they say, but that is his, his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. Oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I'm not taken. None taken! <laughs> All these vulgar people, they hate me. <laughs> non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire! <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. <laughs> good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well, we, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you... Pff, as a guest, yes, as my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. Sì. <laughs> I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome once again to Saint Denis. Ciao, ciao. Gentlemen, let's go ingratiate ourselves. Evening. Okay. Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Jose. You go find us some place to rob. Bill, go make us some new friends. I'm gonna find out if old Cornwall and what's his name, Milton, knows we're here. Gentlemen, be well. Bonjour, monsieur. Glass of champagne, sir? Hello. Good evening, sir. Alfred Lafonde. Gilbert Knightley. You French, sir? Sort of. Originally. I'm from Quebec. But I left many moons ago. 
And you? Oh. <laughs> no. I came down from New York for a job. I'm a banker. A banker? An investment banker. You're the fellows who never lend me money when I need it. And when I've got too much, try to lend me more. <laughs> and what do you do, Mr. Lafon? Originally furs. But now all sorts. Lumber, leather, even maple syrup. <laughs> My partners and I represent 20, well, more like 23% of all the trade heading south from Quebec into the U.S. And who do you bank with? Oh, the usual bunch of clowns in New York. Do you bank with anyone in the south? Not one I particularly like. Just what do you think you're playing at? Well, have you considered Lemoyne National you Bank? You know? Oh. How do you do? I need a big bank, sir. We borrow a lot of money. Hello? And generate a lot Can I help you, sir? Well, I'm not quite sure yet. Albert Daniels. <laughs> Camilla McClare, where ever did you get that white? Evening, folks. How do you do? How's things? Fine. Just Mostly fine. I fail, but I try. Glad to hear. Take care. <laughs> Goodbye. The reconstruction projects after the war. We love big clients. And we love cash. Undermines even the best of us. I'm doing my best, sir. Truth is an absolute sign. Don't you think? You went to a problem, but a rural problem. And here in Saint Denis, we have problems of our own. It ain't complex, I'm you. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, sir, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy! You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man. This man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah, I'll say you and me cool off. <clears throat> Get your hands off me. Come on, sleep it off. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Then you can rejoin the party. Hello, sir. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. That's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My oh, lord. Ryder? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh, oh, oh. My lord, they're fantastic. Excuse me, pardon. Excuse me, pardon. Uh, monsieur, please. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come in and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find out what. Sure. How you doing? <laughs> Splendid, as it were. How do you do, ma'am? Bonjour, monsieur. Sir? Hello, sir. No problems? Everything's fine. We have the place well secured. Good. 
Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hawks. Thank you, Mr. Turk. Is everything taken care of? The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. <sighs> Marie! Marie! Find that little reprobate Chip and beat him. I will not have standard slip in this house. Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. <coughs> Who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. The standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Top secret. Extremely confidential. Very interesting. This town is a waste of time. Maybe not. Arthur? Gentlemen, I think we're done here. What did you find out? There's plenty of money, Moose, through here, of course, and I, I think I found out how we can grab some of it. A big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. If we're gonna leave, that could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high-stakes poker game. Come on. Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. <coughs> Go home! Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk are so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. Uh, let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Interesting times. <laughs> I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions, see how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. And where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. <sighs> Sadie? Hey there, Karen. You look ridiculous, Arthur. 